Hello everyone, this is Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about 10 really awesome things you can do with eyelets. So if you have eyelets and you are regretting having bought them, fear not. So you can see I have plenty of eyelets here myself that we can play with. I want to sh explain there are a lot of eyelets and eyelet sizes. I'm going to focus mostly on two things. The two sizes that are on your crocodile. This is the 1 8 and the 3 16 And so the crocodile has the hole punch and it has the changeable setter to actually set the eyelet. If you can't reach into your project far enough to get to the hole you need to place, that's when you need the crocodile big bite. I will give you a link down below to how to use this. It is a blessing to have, let me tell you. Within those eyelets, so the measurement is measuring the whole size. This would be the one that fits the 1 8 This is the one that fits the 3 16th. But within that, there are other categories. Like, for instance, these are the wide eyelets, and I will be showing you those a little later. And these are, the whole inside is the 3 16th. There are a lot of eyelets that are just purely decorative, too, so that... They are an eyelet, but they are a decoration. So you can get dog bones and you can get hearts and you can get all sorts of different decorations. These ones say you don't even need to have a setter for them. Okay, I will give you a link down below to some supplies. Let's get going. So eyelets we know are for use on fabric to reinforce holes, but let's talk about paper crafting. So obviously the number one use for eyelets in paper is still hole reinforcement. And I am going to zoom in here. There we go. Now you see I have this page from a notebook. I have reinforced the top and the bottom holes. You can do all of the holes. You can do every other one. I can do this one and that one, this one and that one. It's totally up to you how you do this. But if you know that your journal page is going to get a lot of wear and tear and possibly pull out of the journal, you should probably consider putting eyelets in there. These are the 3 16 Another thing is if you're doing, you're making a handmade journal and this is actually the cover, I would go ahead and put an eyelet or a, a reinforcer in every hole. And besides using it for pages, we can also use them as hole reinforcers on tags. This is one of the wide eyelets you can see there. Very stunning. It adds a dimension of beauty to the project, which I think is an extra bonus. Although I just think eyelets are pretty no matter the size. So as a hole reinforcer on pages, even if you don't think it needs a reinforcement, like this really isn't going to get too much wear and tear. Although if it's in a pocket and you're, you are using the strings or the ribbons to pull it out of the pocket, I would suggest you go ahead and place an eyelet there but you don't really need it and many times I don't even place a ribbon in the hole because the eyelet itself adds so much beauty to the project. Number two, to use it as an attacher. So you know a lot of us, we are in love with Tim Holtz's tiny attacher. I just think it's the wonderful thing. We layer stacks of paper to make embellishments, kind of like this, and then we take a his tiny attacher and we just staple right through the stack. Well, I think I want to use the eyelet instead. So I think I'm going to do is try to hold on to that a little bit. Let's see if this will have the reach that I need and probably not. So I'm going to use this one, set it to the 1 8th and put a hole through all the papers there and then set this to do the eyelet and let's find an eyelet that I think would be pretty in this project. Let's go ahead with the brown. I think I like it. Now if you need more instruction on actually how to set eyelets, how to make the perfect eyelet set, oh, let's flip this around, then leave a comment down below and let me know what it is you need to know about how to set eyelets perfectly, and I will do a separate video. But for the sake of this, we don't really have enough time to go into all of it. So there you go. Instead of a tiny attacher now, we have used an eyelet, and I think it makes a beautiful uh, alternative to the staples. 
Okay, number three, the string closure. So I have pre-made this envelope here for uh, also to go into my journal, but I need to add the string closure. So here I am using a three quarter inch circle hole, uh, hole punch. I have punched out cardstock and I have another one right here that I have punched out extra. And then I just marked the center of that on a scrap piece of paper so I could find my hole, find the very center of it. Now for this, for this one that's going to have the string, what I want to do, this is um, embroidery floss. It works better on the small holes. I'm going to put the floss in here, in my hole, lay my paper over there, lay an eyelet over there, and set it. Now I'm going to hold both ends of that embroidery floss to the side here as I set that. Okay, now I can turn it over and trim the back. And I have my string closure. And you can curl the edges up of your paper a little bit. There you go. And you can put a knot in the end of your embroidery floss or your baker's twine or whatever you're using. And that is the string closure. But you can see how the eyelets are so crucial to doing this. You could use a brad, but then you have to cover the back side. Okay. Number four is lacing on paper. So you can see here, I drew lines. I cut out a notch in this paper, this card stock. This is a memory dex card. And I just drew lines next to it and marked off where I was going to go with my holes. And I put a number of eyelets on both sides and laced back and forth like I was lacing a bodice. And I also did another one where the lacing went down. And this is Baker's Twine to make it look like a Converse sneaker. And I have a tutorial on this, I believe. If I can find that tutorial, I will give you the link down below. No pattern required. Um, I just show you how to make this one. So lacing on paper, very fun. Number five is an image accent. Not all of the time that we use eyelets will be purely functional. A lot of it's decorative and that's why I love eyelets because I use them for decorative purposes. So we can use them as an accent in an image. So for instance, think of anywhere where there is something round or circular in your project. So the center of a flower, a perfect place to place an eyelet. This is one of the 3 16th eyelets. It's yellow, I think it's perfect. No other embellishment needed. Two layers of flower punch and an eyelet. This one is a fan, and so this image is a fan, and so I took a black eyelet and put it right in the center where there actually was a black hub. Think about an animal's nose, uh, like I said, flower centers, or anything else that would accent that image. Okay, number six, a design accent. Where before we're accenting a specific part of a design, you can also just sprinkle your eyelets in a project for no other reason than just to make it interesting. So you can see the bracelet that I'm wearing now. I made this out of craft text and I did uh, mixed media on it and I just put eyelets throughout it just to give it a focal points, interest. So that is another thing you can do. Whereas before it was purposeful, there was a center of a flower. These are just randomly placed to add interest to the piece. Number seven, the foundation of a bow or a knot. A lot of times we tie uh, ribbons around something, but I have placed two eyelets in this paper clip, and I'm pulling the bow away so you could see it right there. And that is where I tied my ribbon through for the bow. So it's just a foundation. It's a place to secure the ribbon in without necessarily just glue, making a bow and gluing it on top. I think this adds a whole lot more interest than just gluing any old bow, any old place on the project. Here's another example. This is twine and I just took this beautiful page that looks like a page of a book and I put two dark brown eyelets right there, tied twine through it in a knot and it just creates something stunning. 
Now you could have another piece of a paper embellishment, kind of like we use as a tiny attacher. You can put the holes through, through the other piece of cardstock so you have layers and layers. But I just wanted to show you that you can use these to attach a bow or a knot anywhere on your project. I like it in the corner here. I think it creates something interesting. And it's so simple. I mean, it's simple yet profound to me. I just love that look. Number eight is paper edging. And this is, I just think this is so delightful. So I took a scalloped edge. And this is from Dress My Craft. And it was called Circle Dot. And I edged my paper and put a hole under each of the semicircles. And then I have a pocket here. And so on this side, I used blue eyelets. On this side, I used pink. And I want to zoom in again and show you how fun that is. To me, it's just something totally unexpected. Again, it doesn't serve a function. It is there solely for appearance, for beauty, for adding texture, for adding dimension. And it creates um, a break in a just paper, 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 paper pages in all of your journals. This adds another, it's kind of like mixed media because it is adding another item besides paper. And I think it is so pretty. I just love how this one turned out. Okay, tabs. So I have used the wide eyelet here. And when I punched my hole, I punched it right on the edge there. So it was just barely on into the paper. And then I attached that on there. So what happens when your book is shut, let me put this one in front. When your journal is shut, you're going to see this sticking out. I don't know about you, but I like having little bits of ribbon and twine and tabs and other things sticking out from the pages. So it's not all the pages are flush. And this little bit of, of eyelets sitting out there I just think that's really fun. It's like you open your book and it just kind of surprises you that that's there. You could also, from here, attach your ribbon, attach twine, and then that would create even more of a sort of a tab sticking out there. But I think that is so darling. Number 10, paper charms. I'm going to take different papers here. And I'm going to cut some holes. I'm going to cut three circles, one and a quarter, one and three quarter inches. Let's see, which is the largest here? Let's see if this will work. Yep, this will fit. So I need one of these, but I'm going to cut two of each of the others if I can. This one doesn't have as much paper, so I'll have to find another pattern for the back. One of those. And let's do one of these in this pattern here. Okay, here we go. All right, so now all I'm going to do is put the large one down, a medium and a small. And same thing in the back, a medium and a small. I'm just tapping them down here so that they kind of all ended up flush on the bottom of my table. And then I'm centering them like this and make sure the back ones are centered as well. I'm going to clip those and punch a hole at the very bottom here, really close to the edge. So you can see how close I got that to the edge. I'm going to set an eyelid in there. Okay. So now all we have to do is add a gourd pin and any other charms that we want to go with it. And here's one that is finished. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. So you can see how all you have to do is add the gourd pin. Well, actually what I did was I put a jump ring on there first, a jump ring through the hole, a gourd pin, and on the gourd pin I added this tiny little tassel. It's so fun. So there you go. Here's some other examples here. I just haven't added the charm pieces. Now, if you are into chunky charms, if you like to have the chain where you hang several charms on, this would make a really cute chunky charm. You just keep going up the chain, put a jump ring in each one and keep going up the charm, up the chain, and it would make a really cute, adorable chunky charm. So those are 10 ways of using your eyelets you probably never knew existed. 
uh, beyond the paper hole reinforcement. So keep the eyelets, keep using them, explore and have fun. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much for being here.